And we only have six baseballs? <laughs> if you would have told me that earlier, I would have brought the whole freaking bag. I'm just telling you, this is how you have to pitch, too. Ah, we just to... talked about it. Effectively Wild is the new freaking... Not with me. Ah! I guess we're going this far. <laughs> we're going to stay here. Hey! Heads up, man. 140. Zzz, clear. <laughs> ah! Oh man, I feel really good too. I feel good every day. Why do I mean to say it? So it doesn't stand up. I haven't been this way in a while. I gotta look at that freaking circle-y colorful thing in the back there. That's gonna be a distraction. See that 76 Ford right there? It's a 73. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> it is too. You never go with the lower number. Ah, hey. Ah, oh, yeah, there it goes. Hey, I threw on that mound yesterday. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it as bad as I did yesterday. I was saying something. How are you feeling pretty good, huh? Why, what'd you expect? Well, I didn't expect to get it this far. I thought it was fungo distance already. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't thrown with me since before. Before you left. I didn't have that. Same talk with you, man. I, I mean, I can't reach that high. Did you fix that glove? Yeah, I just tightened it. Didn't want to tighten any of the other ones, huh? I do, I, I do feel like more pressure when I throw with you than anyone else. You should. I could throw with like Jacob DeGrom, I'd be fine. But like you, oh gosh. Harms and I were talking about, um, asked the question of like, who do you think has the most like reps? Did you see that? As a throwing partner from yourself, with yourself. Like, you know, who's, who have you thrown with the most? It's easy. Mine's got to be you. Of course. But then I was thinking about like top five. Yeah. Nice, man. You still got it. It went into the bifocal thing. Are you wearing glasses? <laughs> I honestly can't even see your face. All I see is just white Santa Claus goatee. <laughs> <laughs> is that your last one? <laughs> Don't try too hard. <laughs> Okay, don't don't be that guy. Don't scoop back if you can't reach me. Don't be that guy that I hit you in the belly button and you freaking take it down. Like, oh, there's so many of you guys out there. They're all catchers too. Yeah, I got to flip you some curveballs today. <laughs> I went back to my high school grip. Talked about it on camera the other day. The old index finger curve. Who in their right mind teaches someone that? Catcher. <laughs> Don't panic. I'm just trying not to throw one arm side to where you slip on the ball and then fall and... Oh gosh. Hey, at least it's all dried up. You can long hop. Yeah, that one was a little down. That's my bad. I'll pat the chest, but... I'm pretty sure that was only the first one. Change up. Heads up. Oh, now, see, you make a good pitch look like I'm a doofus. My first change of the day is always the best one, too. Now I gotta throw it arm side? I do feel like more pressure when I throw with you than anyone else. You should. I got death perception issues when I go this way. I now remember that. Everything looks so much further. 
Okay, here it goes. Man, look at that distance. These balls never rolled this much. Yeah, see there's a wind factor, I just felt that. It's gonna be about six clicks over your head. Drop right in. Let it, oh, what? That was seven clicks. Need your, need your ball thing. Well, I didn't, I, I mean, I honestly didn't even intend to come out. You see that? Don't get too long. There she is. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sorry. There he comes. Uh-huh, don't think about the fourth one. Impressive. Ah! Uh-oh. Damn it. You make me feel better about myself. Thank you. Ah! Heads up. That one, other way. I'm doing a really good job. No! <laughs> maybe one of them or maybe none of them if anyone asks like hey why didn't you make it I'll just be like hey just watch a catch play with my dad and you'll understand why because you couldn't hit a target not just any target the target I mean, my belly's pretty big yeah you'd think you'd be like a wide target and I could like I mean, it's like that when I when you catch me, but oh, uh, feel like it's more pressure than throwing at Yankee Stadium. I bet you can't do that again. <laughs> Lean ya. My underwear are down on my knees. <laughs> hey. Gosh darn it. Let me get one of them short hops. I'm trying to hit that ball. There's a ball there? Holy cow! Curve. I want to land right in your belly. Oh, sorry.
Change up. <laughs> ah! Lighter. You see? A little bit. <laughs> Slide it. <laughs> That's full. You gotta help me get this back. Just, Think about the tumbling. It just sucks. You're, you're throwing it with a stiff wrist. You gotta try to kind of rotate as you throw it. I thought all, what, what, all, what always made it good was I didn't have to think about anything. <laughs> well. That's good. You know, before I left for the season, when I was throwing up here alone, that's when it was really good. And I think it was just one of those things like, it was good because no one was here. It's like the invisible man, you know? You can only, you can only go invisible when no one's watching. What do you expect from it? Right now, I expect very little. What but I mean, that's my problem when I go into season and I think it's good, I expect the world, you know? So the world is what? A missed barrel and bat. Because you know? why? Because why, what do you mean why, the pitch? Yeah, what the pitch do? Because when I freaking throw it up here alone, it's, it's as good as I think it is. Yeah, but you're not getting it, why? Oh, because it just drops. Drops? Uh, as late as possible. And how do you do that? I throw it. You just throw it? Yeah, because right now, I'm like right outside the two seam. And usually I'm like in there, you know, like really deep and like right outside the two seam, but I can actually feel like I'm a little bit more behind it, obviously. Helps. That was good. Yeah, that's good. That's gonna get hit far. Good. That had movement. Yeah, the wrong way. You know, the catcher that catches that pitch is never gonna call it again. <laughs> almost like I feel, like the good ones, I almost feel like I don't move my palm. Like I throw it and I just stay like this. Huh. Instead of like this, because I think this sometimes, like it's early and that's when the ball just slips between the two cracks and then it just kind of just does this, you know, it's not. Yeah, the more you throw it, the better you'll feel your release. Well, that's why it's always frustrating to throw it because the, the feedback's always different. I mean, just like anything else, man, it takes a lot. Repetition. Well, the hard thing with it is there's no seam. C come this way. There's no seam input, right? Yeah. So like not... on every other pitch, there's like, oh, I can feel seam. And I feel the seam on this part of my finger or that. And that gives like that immediate tactile feedback. Whereas that pitch, there's no seam, so it's like, it's really hard to find some feedback. But you, you could find seam. Yeah, but the seam kind of Fs it up. Because the good ones are without seam. The good, the good ones, there's no seam input, so then it takes away all the spin. Right, but I still think a good fork ball, you have to have spin in order for it to go down. Well, the, actually, the, this taking away the spin is gonna increase the opportunity for it to move. Yeah, one way or the other. Yeah, but it's the trajectory of like the movement. If is you throw it 88 miles an hour, yeah. you're not gonna get that unless you have tumble. Yeah, I think that's just, that's just like more so where you release the ball on every pitch, right? Like 
there's some guys that release like way out here and there's some guys that release up here and I'm, I'm more up here, you know, than anything. Yeah. So like, that's why it's probably hard for me. Cause there's always the fine line of that's early. That's on time. Ah, oh, that was good. See, if my fingers aren't too far apart, it'll do that. Ooh, unpredictable. That dropped. Yeah. Good. Oh, sniper. Good. That one. So if I can release it and feel the same amount of baseball with both fingers. Make sense? Yeah. The same amount of force with my fingers on the baseball. That's what this is. Right. Every other one is probably this. And you know what would be good for it is that slow motion camera. Sure. All right, last one. <laughs> well, I gotta repeat it three times. No, you don't. Or else it's phony. See, I felt the same thing. And the difficulty with the unpredictability of the movement is because I don't know where to set sights. When it was good, when I was a kid, it was just like, all right, the face mask of the catcher. And then just in the dirt, every time. I rarely ever threw a bad one. Good. I gotta end on a heater biscuit. <laughs> <laughs>